Um, yes, I have seen one. I saw one in 1963 uh, in London from my flat. There have been many actual shapes. The cigar shape, which are usually the parent craft. Um, there have been disc shape, many disc shape. Uh, tadpole, um, heel, like that in a man's shoe, bubble, uh, triangular, uh, and so on. The White Horse at Westbury, a huge monument cut into the chalk of one of Wiltshire's highest hills. On this and two other local hills, groups of people have been holding night-long vigil for the past seven days. They're members of the British Unidentified Flying Object Research Association, and they're looking for what we call flying saucers. Tonight's the climax of their week-long vigil, and as the evening draws in, the saucer spotters will move into position and wait. If they're lucky and see a saucer, then the fun will begin, and they'll try to lure one down. Well, no flying saucers this time. It looks as if most people didn't expect to live, but they just came here for a good talk. However, none of that proves that flying saucers don't exist, nor that they haven't come to this Earth. After all, in this area alone, there have been 200 sightings since February, and round the world since the war, there have been a quarter of a million such sightings. You may ask why there's no film. Well, the answer is there is, but it's not very good. Most people like yourself who have come to believe in flying saucers seem to be, in a sense, uncritical in that they say, right, we accept all the sighting reports we've seen, we accept the films we've been shown, but they haven't, on the whole, got their own first-hand experiences. Have you? Uh, have I actually seen one? Hmm. Um, yes, I have seen one. I saw one in 1963 uh, in London from my flat. One that satisfied you beyond all reasonable doubt? Yes, uh, to, to, uh, to my, the best of my knowledge, it was nothing that could be rational, uh, rationally explained as being from this earth. Now, half your latest book, in fact, is devoted to the evidence, and indeed to a hint of government suppression of some of the evidence. How much do you think governments have suppressed what they have seen? Um, it is something that I can't quite frankly prove. Um, but the fact remains that flying saucer sightings have been uh, publicised very widely since 1947. There have been over a quarter of a million, as I have said, recorded sightings uh, in every part of the world, from every country over the poles, over the, every ocean. Uh, the Brazilian government uh, actually at one stage in 1958 authenticated sightings over Trinidad Island. Um, there have, uh, Major Kehoe, director of NECAP in the United States, a civilian flying saucer organization, has been trying to get congressional hearings uh, to discuss the reality of flying saucers. And he has had the support of many congressmen, but at every, in every instance that he has tried, the United States Air Force has managed to block his efforts. There may be many reasons for this. It may be a case of one, panic, although the panic question could have been got over by an educational program of the masses in the 20, nearly 20 years since 1947. Two, economic. Um, the sources may have some um, method of propulsion which uses free energy. If that was the case, uh, then it would put possibly the electrical, the coal, and the oil industries uh, out of business within a very short while. And it may be in interest, as, uh, uh, as the authorities may think, of, uh, of uh, economic stability to keep uh, thing, the status quo going. To revert to what you were saying earlier, that there have been about a quarter of a million sightings since the war, 
If there have been so many sightings, perhaps you ought to have seen more. Wouldn't more people have seen these things? Do you do, do realise that most people go about uh, looking down and instead of looking up? Uh, it, most people look, walk around uh, the streets. They're either uh, window uh, shopping, looking into the shop windows, or looking down on the streets or dodging the people. Out in the country, uh, they do look up a bit more, I agree. But then in the country, the population is not so large. So if, you, if we all went round looking at the sky, like little Johnny Hedinow again, you would mm. expect that we would all, in fact, be guaranteed to sight one unidentified flying object a year, or...? Well, you would stand a very much better chance of sighting one, yes. And what would it be like? Um, that's a very interesting question, because the word flying saucer is a misnomer. Kenneth Arnold, in 1947, when he... Uh, sighted these nine gleaming objects near Mount Rainier, uh, the state of Washington, when he landed, he told reporters uh, that the motion of the objects was like flying saucers skimming over water, and the press headlined them as flying saucers. But there have been many actual shapes. The cigar shape, which are usually the parent craft, um, there have been disc shape, many disc shape, uh, tadpole, um, heel, like that in a man's shoe, bubble, uh, triangular, uh, and so on. But speeds of 75,000 to 100,000 miles an hour have been mentioned for these crafts, so how long are you going to see them for? Won't they just look like blinks or sudden, sudden sparks of, of light in your eyes? Quite true. When they have been known uh, uh, to take off at most tremendous speeds and to almost, uh, you could say, almost dematerialize in front of your eyes because they go at such a fast speed.